Hi, my name is Becca. Welcome to my channel, Sun Seeking in Style, or welcome back if you've been here before. Today, I'm just gonna do a review of our Lillian River Play Gym. So we do have the four-piece Play Gym. I'm gonna show you all of them. Um, our son is only just about a year, and um, I wanted to have it really early for him because he he's a boy. <laughs> he's um, very mobile, he always has been. Um, but also I had friends who, you know, said that they got um, a similar play gym or the Lillian River one when their child was more of like a toddler, more like two and older, and they wished they had it younger. So I definitely wanted it to be able to grow with him, him to get the most use out of it as possible. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through every piece that we have, how they work in different ways, and um, just also some little tips and tricks of how you can make it even more fun and educational for your little one. We have our triangle piece, which is kind of like the main piece. I think a lot of people, if they're not getting the full set, they will get the climbing triangle because it obviously has a lot of um, uses for it. This one is great because it does fold down. So um, if you don't want to have it up all the time, it just folds nice and flat. I will show that to you later in the video. And then you can kind of store away behind something or in a closet, whatever you've got. Um, so I wanted to show these two pieces. Um, you again don't have to get all of them and you have choices um you also have color choices with lillian river so we got the kind of like natural with the white um but they have colorful ones they have all white so you can kind of pick what you what you'd like um so this piece here is the ladder piece with the slide or just kind of flat piece on the other side um, we also have the rock wall piece so this one is a nice little rock wall for him. And then it is the slide or the flat piece on the other side. So as you can see, these have the typical kind of um, little ridges up top. So you can put this as high or as low as you'd like on your climbing triangle. It also connects to the arch piece, which I will show when I have it all put together for you. Um, but you can kind of, as, as your little one gets a little bit better at climbing, a little bit bigger, you can raise it up. We usually set ours at the like bottom three rungs for my son right now, since he's just one, um, and he does decently with that. We also will use these um, as little ramps for his cars and things like that, um, other toys. He likes to just put them on and see them roll down and things like that. So it's just kind of, there's just so many different ways that you can play with it other than just the typical climbing gym. Um, so then this piece, um, right now I have it set up with the rock wall there. This piece I can connect from our climbing triangle to our arch and it would be a nice little walking bridge for him. He's not quite advanced enough yet for that, but he has climbed under it and made it like a little tunnel. So, um, that's just kind of like another way that you can use it when they're a little bit younger. So next I want to kind of show you a couple little, um, tips, tricks that we do. Um, so since, you know, he's, he's just one now and we've had this for a couple months, I feel like already, um, you know, he's not, he's not an advanced climber yet. He gets to the bottom couple rungs and he climbs up and he reaches and he'll climb up the ramps and he'll climb up, you know, a little bit higher, but he's not climbing over it yet. So we kind of like to add some fun little games for him to play. Um, he also loves to climb under it, like I said, so um, there's definitely just so many ways that he can have fun with it. But what we'll do is um, sometimes we'll use like his little balls or things like that, 
throw them through the rungs um, and show him and then he does it and loves it and then he goes underneath and gets them. Another thing is we take a couple of his favorite stuffed toys and they can kind of prop up here, sit in between the rungs and he will, you know, he'll crawl from across the room and he'll um, get up and pull them off and things like that. Um, so that's just kind of like another fun game that we play with him. Um, also, we have tied ribbons, um, towels, all kinds of things to it so that he can get them off. So you can just make it even more educational and like working on those, you know, fine and gross motor skills in different ways with the, with just these different pieces. Um, yeah, so let me show you it all put together. This piece here is the little rocker. Um, it also becomes an arch. Um, right now, again, my son is only about one, so he really likes this soft padded side. It's a little more his speed. <laughs> um, it, he likes the cushiness. Um, so this obviously needs adult supervision. You wanna be careful because if they're rocking, little things can get smushed underneath. So definitely just be careful with that. Um, but he likes to, you know, he'll rock in it a little bit and he'll climb over and back. And sometimes I put his little friends in there with him and he can rock with them. Um, I love that it has these handles. I'll try to show you. There's handles here on the sides. So it makes it easy to kind of move around if you're repositioning all the pieces. Um, I put this all together by myself and it's nice and easy. Um, so definitely it's not like a <laughs> hours long projects very quick. Um, so this is the other side of it. As you can see, you just tie all of these little bows on, which he also actually, sometimes I'll just leave it on when it's in the arch and he likes to play with little bows and pull on them and things like that. So whatever makes him happy, <laughs> you know, kids, they will find any sort of new and creative way to play with their toys. Um, so yeah, so I will take off this padding and show it to you that way. Here is the rocker piece now being used as a rainbow. Uh, I put our little flat piece here. I just made sure that the ridges are on top of the rung over here. And then there's, um, I used the latter one because it also has this other ridge that you can connect over the bar. It feels a little bit safer to me, so that's the way I do it. Um, but my son does love to crawl underneath of this, even with the padding on when it's kind of like a dark tunnel, but he definitely likes to crawl underneath and he's gotten the hang of the height so he doesn't bump his head anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a great piece. Um, I am going to put the link below as well as a code that I have for a discount. Thanks for watching my review of the Lillian River Play Gym. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I do get to them. Or you can find me on Instagram, Sunseeking in Style, and I will answer you there. Just send me a DM. Make sure you follow me and uh, check out all my other reviews. And if there's anything you're looking for a review of, please let me know as well.
Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.